Hey, welcome to the Mortgage Minute for Tuesday, August 23rd. Hope you had a great summer. I know I did, and that's why you haven't seen much of me on this. But uh, what a crazy summer. The one word that could summarize the markets is a roller coaster. And I know there's a lot of people that are really confused about all this activity, and you, know, you pick up bits and blurbs and all that. But here's the bottom line. Uh, it's all very predictable. I mean, the Euro crisis, uh, what we saw happening with Greece in the fall and early summer, it was very predictable that the markets eventually will react to that by withdrawing or becoming cautious. And then, of course, the Americans with all their... I only think I can call it a stupidity that they, they took so long to come to a, an agreement that it spooked the markets and downgraded their debt. The bottom line is that when markets get spooked and they're concerned, they move to safe harbors. That's why we're seeing an absolutely ridiculous jump in gold prices. Another safe harbor traditionally is real estate. And of all the countries in the world that would be considered a safe bet on real estate is Canada. So I'm going to uh, predict that Canada will avoid a recession mostly because I look, I'm looking for a lot of international money coming into Canada in their real estate. So let's, let's see if I'm right about that. In the meantime, Mark Carney last week comes out and says, slower recovery, not a recession. This is Mark Carney and Jim Flaherty both saying they don't think there's going to be a recession in Canada, even if the Americans go into their recession. Yet here it is one week later in today's paper, says Canada losing its wiggle room if the U.S. economy tanks. So what's interesting, you have... Flaherty and Carney saying they're not overly concerned, but other economists are. In the meantime, what's the most common summertime topic in Vancouver? That our house prices are overheated. And again, Vancouver faces highest risk of housing downturn. I don't know about you. I'm not shocked at this. This is like an annual conversation in Vancouver. Yes, it's very expensive to, to, to live here. But remember, they're taking averages. That means if a $26 million condo sold, then that's built into the averages, and that doesn't necessarily mean the outer lying in, in areas like the Tri-Cities or Surrey or places that you might be buying or investing are necessarily, necessarily ready, to, uh, bubble ready to burst. So um, factors that we're going to look for in the next little while, again, obviously interest rates are low, and the Fed in the States has said they're not going to touch anything till 2013. 2012 at least, and uh, obviously Mark Carney is going to find it very difficult, if not impossible, to separate himself too much from the Feds. So we're expecting not only are we expecting no interest rate in increase, we may even see a drop. There's enough room for Mark Carney to drop by about a quarter point if he feels there's a need to stimulate the Canadian economy. And uh, one of the big factors I'll be watching is the growth of the Canadian dollar. We talked about this before. As the Canadian dollar gets too strong, and as they raise interest rates, that puts upward pressure on the Canadian dollar. That's not good for the Canadian economy. Here's an example. High Canadian dollar cited in shutdown of Nova Scotia paper mill. Here's a paper mill. It's an American-based company. High Canadian dollar forcing it out of business. So, again, guys, we're in a prolonged period of flat interest rates. Here's a prediction for, here's a suggestion, rather. If you're not sure whether to float or lock in, or whether to take fixed or variable, take both. There's a combination. You can get a 50-50 mortgage today that is half floating, half fixed, and the combined interest rate in today's market is 2.94%. That's crazy low money today. So again, if you have any questions about that, go to my website at peterkinch.com or give me a call, and we'll be happy to set up a consultation to help you analyze your personal scenario. That's the Mortgage Minute for today. Have a great day.